Example four and five. Uh, hey, use a calculator to evaluate the logarithmic logarithmic expression if it is defined, and check your result by evaluating the corresponding exponential expression. Uh, log of negative five point one four is not defined. Just mark it out. Thank you. Well, I'm not going to mark it out. I'm going to write the answer, right. which is undefined. Okay, so, well, and whatever. and the way you know that is that our all of our logarithms, natural logs, whatever base it is, no matter what. Um, our logarithm has a domain of greater, greater than, than zero, zero, but not equal to zero. Right. So logarithms have a domain of Don't not, you... not equal, yes. not equal, sorry. Yes. Zero Don't pull to a infinity. student move here, okay, Steve. And then the range, just to throw it out there, the range is negative infinity to infinity. Now, it, but it certainly doesn't look that way when we're talking about range. It looks like it has an upper bound, but it doesn't. But it actually it's, keeps going it's up. fake. It's a fake upper bound. Right. And one of the easiest ways to think about this is what is the domain and range for an exponential function? Yes. Because it's just flip flop. It's just the backwards For an exponential, side, yeah. the domain is negative infinity to infinity, but the range, we have an asymptote, so right. that makes it be zero right. to infinity. Anyway, log of 9.43. There's a button on your calculator that says L O G. Log. That's the button we want. Yep. So log of nine. Because this is log base ten, and when you punch it in your calculator, it's log base ten. Now, if you've got a fancy dancy calculator, it will give you a logarithm template that you can fill in. So depending on if you have Inspire or if you're using the most current version of eighty four, it might ask you to put a number in for the base. Right. It may give you whenever you press the log button, it may give you like a box in a box, right? Yep. And so if it gives you two boxes, you, you have it. to remember that this is a log with yeah. a base of it's 10. It's not a log base of one. That's no. no, it's a log base 10. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, and there is a way to get to that on the 84s if you have the most current operating system, but it doesn't default to that. Right. All right. So if you type in log of negative 5.14, it will give you an error. It gets you an error message. Yep. So that yeah. is helpful to you to know that that's what that means is that it's undefined there. So right. natural log... On the 84s, you have to press second and then the log button, or yes. it may be somewhere slightly different on the Inspire, but you should be able to find it, and you get... I'm just looking for the little LN in there, and it's going to be 1.3987. And you, uh, you want to go three or four decimal places with logarithms, because with logarithms, as it turns out, those decimal places can be significant. All the difference. Yeah, yeah. earlier today I was helping somebody on a problem, and they had only put two decimals on something, and it gave them an answer of like 18. I had put three, it gave me an answer of 15. Those are nowhere close yeah. to the same thing. Like right. that's not good enough. That's the that's a life or death situation. Right. If this were a, if you were doing math in a life or death situation, and, and it's not close enough. Yeah, final jeopardy, you'll lose. Yeah. That, yeah. that could be life or death yeah. right there. So we uh, don't want to make any final jeopardy mistakes. No. Okay. Example five, solve the equation by changing it to exponential form. So here's what I would do. Okay. Uh, that's a 10 that we don't see again because yeah. it's a common log. So I would just rewrite that sucker as 10 to the fourth equals X. You know, that's exactly what I would do. Really? Yeah. Do you know what 10 to the fourth is? Uh, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So you just add a zero for every 10 you got in right. there. Right. There's four zeros. Yeah, 10, 10 to the fourth is 10,000. That's pretty cool, monkey beans. That was... That was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about this one? Uh, 10 to the negative 1. Yeah, Equals... that's going to be 0. 0.1. That's 1 tenth. Yeah, 10 to the negative 1, you move that down to the bottom and make it 1 tenth and equals it's, x. It's or you could put 0. 0.1, which is 1 tenth. Right. Whichever. Okay. It's all good. There you go.